Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the word. It's gotten a little cold out here. I have a little cold snap in Florida, so I had to put my warm hat on and maybe drink some little uh, hot cocoa here. This is stay warm. All right, it's Christmas time, and we are celebrating Christmas week uh, here in the the shed. And to, yesterday we talked about the wise men, and today I want to talk about the journey from um, Egypt uh, back to Nazareth, okay? So, let me uh, read, I'm going to read today from Matthew chapter 2, verses 13 to 23. So if you have your Bibles, which I do, again, I encourage you to get a, um, I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's a um, waterproof Bible. So if you're ever kayaking or biking or whatever, and you... Uh, uh, you want to take your Bible and i uh, like, oh, no, it's going to get wet. Well, who cares? you got a waterproof Bible here. All right. Matthew 2, 13 says this. When he had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there, and stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. Okay. Keep in mind here, Joseph. Joseph is obeys everything God tells him to do. Okay, uh, when he when God said, you know, you need to marry, 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 get married to Mary, um, he did that. When he says you need to to go to Egypt, he does that. Okay, Egypt in, in the Bible represents the world. Okay, so uh, look closely here. Jesus is going into Egypt. He's going to be coming out of Egypt. Who in the Bible else did that? Okay. You're asking yourself, oh, gee, I wonder who did that. It was Moses. Moses uh, went, you know, he had fled from Egypt. He went back into Egypt to lead the people out. And Jesus is going to be, he represents the world, going into the world to free us from the slavery, the slavery of sin, really. Okay. Kind of a neat uh, analogy there. But anyway, let me keep reading. Verse 14, so he got up and took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And the, the death of Herod, oh boy, that's a, if you read uh, some history about that, he had a messed up ending. I mean, his insides were, uh, I could give you graphic um, details of the reading. Uh, if you read about it, it's like his bowels and everything were messed up and, uh, you know, he, he built his life on, you know, himself. You know, like, look at everything I did. And, you know, these monuments to himself. He built Masada. He uh, renovated the temple. All that, you know, really to glorify himself. Um, but he had a terrible death. And he dies here in Egypt, okay? Um, and, st and Joseph stayed there with his family until um, Moses, or I'm sorry, uh, Herod had died. And so fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet out of Egypt, I called my son. All right. And keep in mind that uh, we had, we just st studied the 15 prophecies and that was one of the 15 prophecies out of Egypt. You can go back and, and listen to that again if you want to. All right. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious and gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem in its vicinity who were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Okay. So he was like, well, I, there's no, there, no chance of a king coming around when I'm reigning. And so he just went and wiped out, you know, all the, the children of that area that were two and under and you based on the information he got from the, the wise men of when this child could possibly be born. All right. So he goes and kills him. That fulfilled a prophecy. We talked about that in the 15 prophecies uh, section that we did. In verse 17. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. This is the prophecy. A voice is heard in Ramah weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. Okay. <laughs> this... Um, and I, I'll leave the prophecy back to, to the other uh, episode. Let's keep reading. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph and said, Get up and take your child and his mother and go back to the land of Israel. For those who are trying to take their child's life are dead. Herod's dead. 
go back home. So he got up and took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard Archelaus was reigning in Judah in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee. And he went and lived in a, in a town called Nazareth. So fulfilled what was said through the prophets that he would be called a Nazarene. Okay. When Herod died, he, it was his kingdom was divided up amongst uh, three, three sons, okay? The one son back in, in Judea um, that he gave, that, he, that was reigning there, Joseph saw that this guy is not, n not any better than Herod, okay? And Herod was bad news. This guy's going to be bad news. But the other two guys were a little more civil, all right? So he was like, I'm not going back there. Let's go back to Nazareth. And so he goes back to Nazareth, that fulfilled another prophecy right there, um, that he, Jesus would be a Nazarene. So um, what I want you to see here, though, is, is this. You know, Joseph was told specifically in, in several instructions, and he, he followed God and did exactly um, what he said, um, what God told him to do. He, he followed it and, and obeyed God. In the same way, you know, we need to be obedient to God, whatever he's telling us to do. And it's all here in the Bible, okay? If you follow the Bible and uh, listen to what he says uh, through the Bible, you're on the right road, all right? Thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas to you. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue celebrating, yee Christmas week. Lord's blessing.